Hey guys, welcome to Watchdog Central, and today we're going to be talking about racist sweets. They do exist, they are out there, and they're branded by a company called Haribo. You may have heard of them. Lots of kids all over the world seem to enjoy these sweets. They come in many varieties of different colours, shapes, and sizes. Colours being the operative word here because according to the Telegraph, I'll leave the link down below and I'll leave you a couple other links to a few other articles I read on this. Haribo stopped selling racist sweets. Yes, they've been classed as racist now. Sweets being racist. What is the world coming to? The offending sweets are in the shape of ethnic masks or facial representations that resemble primitive African, Asian, Native or American art. Haribo stops selling racist sweets. The offending sweets are in the shape of ethnic masks or facial representations that resemble primitive African slash American slash Native American art. German sweet maker Haribo has stopped selling some of its licorice sweets in Sweden and Denmark because certain consumers considered them racist. The sweets part of the Skippy Mix Salty Blend that has been on the market for years, years, will no longer feature the controversial figures in both Scandinavian countries. Haribo said it had taken into account the critical comments made on the internet in recent weeks we decided that we could keep the product while removing the parts that certain consumers found offensive. Sweets. They're fucking sweets, dude. They're sweets. Do you really think children give two shits what colour the sweets are? Do you really think kids give two shits what is on the actual fucking sweet? I'm pretty sure they don't. They look at that sweet and they go, hmm. This is Haribo Salty Sailor. It's licorice flavour. I like licorice flavour. Yes, it's black, but that doesn't mean it's racist. I like licorice because they're black. I like licorice. So I'll eat the motherfucker. I don't care whether it has a stupid little picture. I mean, you could carve off what is on the Salty Sailor sweet and you could stick just a normal black face on there that doesn't resemble anybody but people will still deem that as being racist. Let's scroll down and have another look at something else here. There's more salty sailors, there's some sweets. Um, I've never actually, I don't actually eat these kind of sweets, but this is, I'm, I'm not gonna try and pronounce it. You can see it there. You can, maybe you can pronounce it. Maybe if you're German or Swedish or whatever, I don't know what the fuck it is. But as you can see, there's two black sweets there. One of them licking their lips. I, I don't class that as being racist. I can't see anything racist along there. Okay, so let's just scroll down here and have a look at three of these beautiful jelly Harry Bow sweets. I mean, don't you just, don't they just look scrummy? We have a, we have a green one, we have a yellow one, and we have a red one. Don't you want to beam your hand through the computer and just pull one of those scrumptious motherfuckers out and eat them? It doesn't make a difference what colour they are. They all taste the fucking same. Sure they do. But you see that yellow one? That looks a bit suspect to me. Do you know why? That's, that could possibly be directed at a Chinese human being. We can't have that. We have to pull that. I mean, why aren't, why aren't the yellow ones being pulled out of stock? Why is it simply just the black ones? I don't know, maybe because if it's, a, if it's the right, directed at a Chinese or something, it's not, it's not really media news breaking story, but it's, it's all about black nowadays. Anything that's black is racist. Like, Bar Bar Black Sheep that was banned in many schools across the world because it contains the word black. Ugh, what a load of fucking bollocks. Let's move on. So there you have it, guys. Haribo is racist, so they've removed them. They've removed the packaging in Sweden and maybe in other countries will follow suit because of these PC Brigade fucktars who just don't want to leave anything alone for anybody. They just want to ban everything. It doesn't make a difference whether it's a Halloween costume on Halloween that resembles something that, that they don't like. They'll, they'll, have, they'll try and have it pulled. It doesn't make a difference if it's a, a fruity coloured sweet. They'll have it removed from your child's mouth because they don't like it and they've got nothing better to do with their life than just sit there and try and ban things. I don't care if you want to have an opinion. You can sit there and call it racist. You know, you can debate that shit, but banning things just because you don't like it and you think it's racist, I mean, they, they just want to ban everything. Let me just go back to this article for a second. 
Well, this is why they actually release the sweets in the first place, these um, salty sailors. If this line here, it says, they depicted what a sailor who travelled the world in days would have brought home in days gone by, Mr. Dagliland said. It wasn't something we saw as having negative connotations. So as you can see, it wasn't supposed to be deemed as being racist, but just because a few little fucktars out there get it set in their mind that it is racist, then it must be banned and they'll kick up a stink and they just won't let it go until it's banned. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it's racist or not racist? Those are some pictures of the sweet there. I personally think it's beyond a fucking joke. It's a sweet. Children love sweets. Let them enjoy their sweets. There's no need to ban everything. This is Watchdog Central beaming out. I shall catch you in the next video.